Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for coming back. Thank you for continuously allowing me to come here. What do you mean? We, you know, we love you here. I, 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 there's so much I want to get into here, but uh, first, I, I just want to... Uh, uh, everything's going on with, with you and, and Justin. Mm -hmm. uh, you've had a, a rough couple of months. How is everything going? Um, everything's good. I, I'm doing okay. My, my health scare has, you know, we've, we've moved on from it, and yeah, I'm just kind of allowing my body the time to heal and do its thing but i'm doing okay he's also doing okay, okay um good. obviously it's been a weird turn of events the last couple months in the last even few days That'd but he's okay and he's gonna be totally okay so. okay good yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy yeah, i have to i have to ask um you have a, a, a giant uh, a career and a giant career ahead of you but now you finally have your own skincare line and we were talking about this this is years ago yeah. We were discussing this. Yeah. Uh, this, you know, I was looking, uh, and it, it's been almost 10 years since you moved to the city to start modeling. Yes. And, and look at you now. But I mean, but what, what do you remember <laughs> about those days? You... Um, you know, I moved into the city when I was, I was 17. I, I kind of had an agreement with my parents. I had really just started modeling, and I was begging them, like, let me move into the city, please. It's so much easier for just everything, for travel and for castings. And they were like, absolutely not unless you can afford it on your own. And I was like, okay, deal. If I book a job where I can afford it, my own rent for the whole year, you have to let me move out. And I booked my first job, and it was for the whole year of rent, like to the dollar. So I was like, you said. You said, so I. Um, so I moved out, but I, I lived with my older sister until I turned uh, 18. But something that I vividly remember about moving into the city and having my first apartment was, um, I was out to dinner one night with Justin, yeah. and he was like, so you got your own place, how's it been? Like, you got all your furniture, you have everything you need. And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing, I love it. You know, I have a couch, it's great, I have dishes. <laughs> I have it's spoons. a big deal, it's a big deal, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like everything is such a big deal. And uh, he's like, well, that's amazing. Like, is there anything you don't have yet? Is there anything like you're missing? And I'm like, yeah, I don't have a TV yet, but it's like, I'm gonna get one, it's like not a big deal. And he's like, Okay, okay, cool. And then he was driving me home, and on the way he was like, I can't do this, we gotta go to Best Buy. <laughs> so he took me to Best Buy on the way home, and I was like mortified, because I'm like, you're not about to buy me a TV. And he bought me a TV. No way. Yeah. Wait, so... <laughs> and he, he carried it up, he carried it upstairs himself, he unboxed it, did the whole thing. It See, was really that's cute. what I'm talking about. Justin, you're a good man, you're a gentleman. <laughs> I still have the it. TV. You still have it? I still have it to this day. I could not get rid of the TV, you guys. It was too cute. Yeah, you can't get rid of no, it now. No, it's, it's, it's still in, in our apartment to this yeah, day. Yeah, you have to keep it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who, who got you started in, in fashion? Who got you interested? Do you, was it your mom, your sister? I mean, I definitely always looked at my mom's style and, and admired it, and I felt like she always was, was passionate about clothing and fashion. But I would say I definitely was inspired in the modeling space from the greats, Kate Moss, Christy Turlington, Naomi oh, yeah. Campbell. And, and then I, I read somewhere you said you, you named those uh, icons and then you said, and also Hannah Montana. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I technically was also very fashion inspired at the time by Hannah Montana, AKA Miley Cyrus. <laughs> she used to wear- I mean, that's uh, a lot of people out there are saying, feel the same way. Right? She used to wear like outfits on Hannah Montana that I would try to recreate because I thought they were just like everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I never knew that your middle name was Rode. Yes, R it's also my mom's middle name. A beautiful name, R-H-O-D-E, I, I love that. I go, oh, uh, and that is the name of your new line. It is. Rode, are you, today is officially, this is Here. real now, look at this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what made you go, like, I, I have to do it? I mean, I'm assuming everyone just asks about your skincare routine all the time. And... Yeah, I definitely, it was like the thing I would get asked about the most, especially even working with different makeup artists. They would always be like, what do you do for your skin? Um, it was just always something I felt really passionate about. I was always someone who's, and still am clearly to this day, very committed to a routine, very regimented person who's like very OCD about a skincare routine. Um, and I just felt like over the last almost 10 years of, working in this industry, I felt like I was really able to develop my beauty philosophy and I got to a point where I was like, I wanna make a curated, edited line of essentials, like my go-to things that can work for everyone. So the Did way I- Did you always I, know the name Road was gonna be the title? Um, I 
wasn't sure in the very beginning. I always knew I wanted Road to be a brand that I started. And as I was developing and having the conversations about the skincare brand, Road Skin just kept coming to me and coming to me. And I also felt like it was very fitting because my mom taught me so much about taking care of myself and skincare and sun care and all these different things. So I thought there was a really nice story there with the name. Yeah, uh, I, I, I know you released this as a, as a teaser <laughs> and I wanna ask you about this because I think it's funny. Uh, and there's you posing with the donut. Yes, that uh, is me. Yeah, I, I, yeah, a glazed donut. And, and, and then I was like, okay, there must be something to this. Because yes. I was like, what, what is you and the glazed donut? But it went everywhere. And then you said that uh, when you go to bed at night, you want to feel, you want to look like a glazed... I want to give off the vibe of a glazed donut. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like... Edible, dewy, yummy, delicious. Dewy. <laughs> glazed. <laughs> I love that. that is your, that's your thing you want to do. <laughs> Uh, you're also doing something really cool that I want to mention called uh, the Road Futures Foundation. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you're using uh, some of the proceeds to, yes, to help women. Yes, we are using proceeds from Road to hopefully in the first year support and help a thousand women through three different amazing organizations. See, come on, that's how you yeah. do it, buddy. You get back. You work so hard. Congratulations. It's officially out. It's officially out. I'm so happy you're here. You look Thank fantastic. So Thanks. Come back whenever you want. Haley <laughs> Bieber, everyone. Check out the new Skin Caroline Road, which is available right now. We'll be right back with Austin Butler. Stick around. Come on back. Hey, hey.